Hello. Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. And today I have created a tag. I've decided to call it the style tag. So the other day I was looking at all of the beauty guru tags that already exist. And I realized there's a bucket load. There are so many. And ages ago, sorry, I'm <laughs> sidelining here. But when I first started my Instagram and YouTube channel, I bought a domain and that domain is www.prularoo.com. I then found out that I don't know <laughs> anything about website coding, which is something you're meant to know about when you have a website. So I just have a very basic website. <laughs> but what I thought would be a useful thing that I could use this website for is to list all the beauty guru tags that I have found. And I'll link it below, but essentially if you just go to www.prularoo.com, the first little box that says beauty guru tags, that will take you to a list and that has all the videos that are the original creators who created a tag that you can go check out. And if you want to do that tag, I just thought it'd be a useful place to house them all. The official website it should be at is www.prularoo.com slash beauty guru tags. So I just hope if you're another creator like me, this might be something useful to you. I'll link it in the description box and I'll keep linking it in the future videos. Yeah. So if you look, there is a bucket load of beauty makeup videos out there. So I feel like I do an okay job at makeup, but I, I feel like I do a terrible job at style, like from hair to clothes to everything. And I desperately need help. So I created a tag so that you guys would tell me the answers to these questions that I want to know. I'll share my shitty answers and I hope you'll stick around for the video because I would just appreciate it. <laughs> and you know, I spent a while coming up with these, these questions. I came up with 10 questions. Um, I do have answers for them, but I am really curious to find out other people's thoughts on these, on this topic. If it's not your jam, if you just do makeup, like that's totally chill. Like answer whatever you feel like in the comments below. Cause I would just love to know. So question number one of the tag that I made. And this is because I, I am a nineties girl through and through. I am one of those people who will be turning 30 this year. A bit scary. Um, but what Spice Girl do you, or did you want to be? This will make no sense with who I am currently today, but when I was growing up, Sporty Spice. She was my jam. I loved Sporty Spice. I loved the sneakers, the full matching tracksuit outfits, which like I we, I had matching tracksuit outfits. I wish I had pictures of that because it would just be so funny because me and my sister, we had matching, like we had matching tra tracksuit suits. And I think my Nana bought us both tracksuit, <laughs> tracksuit clothes at the same time. I wish, I really hope there's a picture out there of that. And, but I would say, and I also went on to buy Mel C, like which, Melanie Krishon's albums as I pro followed her career. And I did really enjoy her. But I feel like these days, like Mel B or Scary Spice, I didn't understand her when I was a kid. And I understand her now. And she's amazing. She is like who I would always wish to inspire to be, I think. Question number two, how has your style progressed throughout your life? So I've always just struggled with my weight and that's always dictated my style. And it still does because when you're fat, there's just clothes that don't fit. That's just the way it is. Um, but when I was in high school, I was definitely very, I mean, I, I, like I wasn't even that fat. I just felt really like, super fat, but I would dress extremely baggy and covering clothes. I would dress in the men's wear section, <laughs> these really baggy outfits. And the thing that made me change the way I dressed was going on holiday with my sister and she being like, Prue, what the fuck are you wearing? It says hideous, you need to change it. Um, predominantly at that time in my life, my favorite jumper to wear was from the band Tenacious D and I had Cleveland steamers on the front of it. Which I mean, I, yeah, I still love that jumper. I'm not hundred percent sure where it is today, but yeah. So that's my early twenties. And now I'm coming into my, 
like 30 at the end of the month, like March 27th. Coming into that, I feel like my style is actually become a bit more floral. It's more dresses. I still wear like leggings all the time and flop, like thongs or flip flops everywhere. I feel like I'm trying to get more sophisticated, but I don't, I'm, I do wish I could expand my circle of clothes that I wear. And I, I did feel personally insulted that Raw Beauty Christie did not like ASOS because when you're fat, ASOS has one of the best quality, cheapest, a lot of clothes that you can get anywhere. Um, and I love ASOS. Like without ASOS, I don't know what I'd be wearing. And in Australia, one of the big fat people brands is City Chick. And after a certain period of time, their clothes are not the best. Um, predominantly because they're very heavy material, which is confusing because they're made for fat people. And their necklines are always very much designed usually for someone wearing a, a strapless bra, which I just, and I hate to say it, like I have, I have been guilty of this wearing a strapless bra, but when you are really fat, wearing a strapless bra doesn't look good because you get that neck, like the underarm fat curl. And I mean, if you rock that, go you, it's fine. But like, it's just not a look that I aspire to. So predominantly my style is affected by fat people. And I do find that a lot of the plus size bloggers that I have looked at and their clothing, I don't know, like anyone who advertises pretty little thing. Nah, nah, you're like, you're lying. I've tried those clothes. They're not good. <laughs> so yeah, so I just, I find it really difficult to find my style. And I'm, I'm mostly more curious on how you feel about this. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm working on my style. It's a work in progress. And I'm sorry for the side rant. I'm sorry, so is, how would you describe your own style clothing vibe? I did just answer this, didn't I? Fuck. So I would say that my clothing vibe is very much restricted by being overweight, um, which is my own fault for doing that. It's my, like... Um, but I do try to just wear clothes that make me happy. Uh, what is your makeup style? Classic makeup question. Uh, it is colourful. Usually, I mean, I feel like you can barely see, but to say, like, quite heavy on the blush. I love blush and I love a colourful eye. It just makes me happy. So I would say that my makeup style is sort of however I feel that day, but usually colourful. Who inspires you and why? I have a lot of different people who inspire me uh, for very different reasons. So I really struggle with who inspires me because I find people inspire me for very, very different reasons. Like in a lot of ways, uh, Annette's for Annette's Makeup Corner, she really inspires me to get more creative with makeup and have more fun and enjoy life. And she's just such a great person. I just, yeah, I love her. Um, Nicole Tate on Instagram is a Brisbane beauty blogger and I love her eye looks. They are amazing. I'll put a picture up and she inspires me with makeup, but I do really struggle with the plus size bloggers. I know there is Letitia T and I feel like she's just like sort of catering for men with her pictures sometimes, but you know. That's, that's just my personal feelings. Um, I do need, I do need someone who will help me with that. What inspires you and why? Well, can I say, like the fact for me, what inspires me is like the beauty community is the fact that like I can have a channel and I have these beautiful people who come and comment and watch me and I'm so honored. And I'm inspired by the color, like all the colorful makeup I own. And I'm inspired to use it all. And I think just, I think in a lot of ways, like just makeup in general inspires me. And it just makes me so happy. I have such a problem. Do you have a favorite famous stylist or makeup artist you love? Um, I really enjoy Hyongo Vungo's. I'm just gonna put it there. Fuck. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
I love his looks that he does on the runway when he is, um, cause he usually does the bold, really beautiful look. And stylist, I absolutely, I need some fat people styling tips or even just some general styling tips. The only stylist I ever have fully known the name of is Rachel Zoe. And I don't know enough about her to have an opinion. So I am more putting this question out to you so that you can tell me who I should be following, please. What are your favorite Instagram accounts to be follow? One of mine, and this is so, this is where I was just curious, because I know people follow a lot of different things, is Marie F and Jake Snow. I'll put a picture up. They're just this beautiful couple. I love their pictures. They just, I love staring at them. Obviously Nicole Tate, who I've already mentioned. And I'd say those are two of my favorites um to follow i'd love to have um i'd love to know what you're following and what you love what's inspiring you i want to mix up my feed a little bit more um but if it is like a girl who's trying to inspire them if it's just like someone who doesn't do as many booty shots which like are totally cool and like if you can do it that's fine i just it's just it's just not my thing what is your dream style if you had unlimited money to create whatever vibe you could I would love to live in a modern sleek house that had nothing anywhere and everything was packed away and then when yeah but the problem is that I don't like buying a lot of shit and that will never happen for me. My dream would be modern sleek and like marble marble tables everywhere. Anyway I really that's all the questions. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will at least give me some answers down below. It was very difficult for me to come up with a tag idea um if you go to the link you'll see how many tags there already are and i tried to stay pretty relevant those are all within the, like the last year anyway if you are a creator i absolutely tag you to do this tag thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for checking this video out i absolutely appreciate and adore you Mwah.